my advice to anybody and same thing with the advice that um that trucker brown gave faith if you're going to promote the company make sure they pay you ryan little <laughs> Make sure they pay you because Faith was like, you know, I, I signed a deal, uh, you know, I signed a deal with my company to sponsor my company. I got she says she got a, you know, a bright colored, uh, bright colored truck. I'm not going to say what color it is and I'm not going to say what kind of truck she drives, but she says she got a bright colored truck and she and she started to uh, promote the company, so forth and so on. And, you know, Trucker Brown was like, yo, you should have got with me before you even, you know, signed on a dotted line. I talked to, you know, I talked to Brittany, uh, you know, Brittany and Pink, Brittany Richardson, uh, the American trucker. I talked to her and she said that her her company, I'm not sure if she's still with them or not, but she said her company owns the name Brittany and Pink because she signed off on it so i'm not sure if she was getting extra but the name britney in pink the company owns it she can't she can't even use britney in pink no more she had to change her when she changed her youtube channel and she stopped promoting uh the company she was driving she couldn't even use the name britney in pink no more because the company owns it so if you're going to promote the company and I'm talking about the people that's going over the prime. I'm talking about them too, because everybody in their mama has a YouTube channel when they jump on with prime. It's like prime has the book of YouTube. It's like, it's like somewhere, somehow they sitting in the, in the orientation. And then the last part of the orientation is be like, yo, let's talk about social media. Oh, okay. We encourage you guys to get a to get a YouTube and when you get one, make sure you, you know, you kind of mention Prime. Let them know how your orientation is and let them know how everything goes over at Prime. You know, just make sure that you put Prime in a good light. See, oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh. See, I said something. I said something. See, see, see how I, see how I caught that? Make sure if you're promoting the company, make sure you put them in a good light. So let's say you can't never talk ill about the company. And I, I, to be honest with you, you can't talk ill about about any company now. Like before, before social media, you could probably get away with talking to one of your coworkers or get a, you could probably get away with talking to your best friend you needed somebody to vent about what happened to you at work today oh man johnny is you know johnny the boss is this and that and the third yeah you you had somebody to vent no more when social media came into play everybody started coming on there talking about their companies Oh man, this what happened to me today. You know, such a boss, such as such as is an asshole, and and boss such as such as this, that, and the third. Now, companies have you sign like some type of clause in the contract. You got to read it. You got to find it. They they might not tell you in the beginning. You know, they'll, they'll give you like one of them thick ass books that got the company policies in there and shit. And somewhere buried in that thick ass book of, of, of the company policy is somewhere in small print that you can't talk about the company that you work for. Now, after you quit, get fired, get terminated or whatever, you leave or whatever, whatever, then you could talk about the company then because you don't work for them and there's no stipulations. But while you driving for the company, mm -mm, mm -mm, they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. They don't want nothing. That's why you see all them reviews on ND, Glassdoor, and the rest of them. You see all those disgruntled 
uh, drivers, disgruntled employees, they'd be like, yeah, that company ain't shit. That company did that in the third. This, you know, this company did this to me. This company did that to me. They got somebody in social media that watches out, period. Every, they got somebody in social media that if you type the name of the company and you go back on YouTube or you go back on, on Google or you go back wherever and type in that company, JNR Swoogle, boom, everything, every video, every content is going to pop up. It's going to pop up. They got, that's what they, major, major carriers, don't sleep on them motherfuckers. Major care. Prime, US Express, Snyder, and all of the rate uh, and all of the major carriers is out there has somebody just watching social media, watching Facebook, watching YouTube, watching uh Twitter, Instagram. They got somebody watching. Period. You type in the name and you you know and and you're a you're a company driver that's so happy to the 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 down talk the company but you over here showing the truck logo and and your truck number and your trailer number and you telling everybody where you at and and I'm here at the Clorox you know the Clorox place is garbage and this that and the third same thing with the shippers and receivers that's their clients they don't want the truckers that's working for the company to talk about their clients. Oh man, look, I'm up here at the Clorox and and the and the shipper is 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 a ball dagging bitch. They got somebody that's watching that and guarantee you you will get a phone call. Ring ring. Hey, what's going on? Hey, um, make sure you bring the truck in to the terminal because we got to talk to you. Oh, okay, you all happy, go lucky and shit. You drive up to the terminal and you get there, you're fired. Hey, whoa, oh, whoa, for what? What I, um, we came across this video that you was ranting about Clorox. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we can't have that. Wait a minute, you, you, you can't fire me because of my, you know, my opinion and yada, yada, yada. Yeah. It's in your, it's in your, um, it's in your handbook that, wait, you talking about that thick ass, uh, employee policy book? Yeah, it's in that. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Whenever you get time, preferably in the beginning of the trucking company that you work for, take the time to go through that fucking book. I kid you not. Take the time to go through that book because somewhere buried in all that, all that lettering, it's the same thing when you fill out a credit card. You you got to scroll through the whole thing, and then you find out that the APR on that motherfucker is fifty percent, and you ain't know that because it's in fine print. Same thing with the with the employee handbook. And the and the, and the company's rules, regulations, and policies. I'm telling you, take the time to read that shit. All right, don't just because you happy go lucky to get in with a company and you be like, oh yeah, I'm happy. I'm this company loves me and and everything and all like that. I guarantee fucking t you, you do something, you do something wrong, you're gonna get called out for it, and you're gonna be sitting there like, man, I ain't. I ain't know that. I I didn't know that. Why you didn't tell me that? Well, it's in your employee handbook. Did you read it? it, it and then you be sitting there like, well, you didn't tell me that. I don't recall that. I didn't know we had that kind. Of, I, I I ain't know we 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 ain't talked about that. You could say you could say we ain't talk about that and and everything to the case, but. It's in the employee handbook. It's on paper. So when you get with a company, any company, and what they don't mention in the orientation or what the recruiter don't mention, it's somewhere buried in that book. 
So it behooves you to take the time and go through that book, man. For real. Take the time to go through the book. You know, it's just like instructions. In order to fit, put something together, you got to read the instructions, right? So in order to get good with the company and get on with the company, you gotta gotta read gotta read the book, gotta read the fine print. You gotta you gotta read it. So again, uh, let me just rewind it back. Uh, if anybody gets into uh, gets into a company, small company, big company, because like I said before, ma major carriers love you to have a social media. Hey, can we can we get on your social media platform? No. Can we be your friend? No. Can we follow you? No. Now for Facebook, yeah, you, you got your privacy set. Nobody can follow you. Only you can only you can let them in. You gotta be careful who you're letting in too, because like anybody from the company and all like that, you you may think they're a friend and all like that, but they they just watching your watching your page just to see if you say something ill about the company. Learn that, you know. Be careful who you let in on your page, especially from the companies, uh, from the company that you work for. Now, as far as YouTube, it's probably nothing you could do, nothing too much you could do about that because you know all they got to do is you know, type in lockout me and then boom, there I am. And then they can subscribe to me. But if you have a YouTube, you know, buddy, buddy YouTube and you, you drive for drive for ABC company and you decided to make an ill video about ABC company, you better best damn believe that ABC company is going to call you up and be like, bro, in order to continue working for us, you're going to have to take that video down. And then ain't no way that you can go back and be like, hey, how are you going to tell me what to do on my channel? No, if you want to keep this lucrative job because you talk ill about us and we're giving you a chance. Then, yeah, you're going to have to take that video down, bro. So in order to keep your good paying 75 cent a mile job and because you came on to talk ill about your day or what happened at a shipper receiver or with your fleet manager or whatever, whatever. Yeah. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to make you take it down or they're going to make you either make you take it down or, or, or you're going to have to bounce. Simple as that. So again, if you get any social media, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, TikTok now, and sh man, look, listen, I, I I said I wasn't a fan of TikTok and I'm still not. But shit, after the day, I'm all over it. Because they just now they got they 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 open up their videos. You can you can uh put up longer videos. Mind you, it's only three minutes more, but I guarantee you, like at the end of the year or next year, shit. TikTok is going to you 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 probably could upload long form videos on TikTok. And I guarantee fucking to you TikTok is going to give YouTube a run for their fucking money. I think they already giving them a run for their money right now. But when 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 TikTok opened up their platform to long form videos, pff, watch out YouTube. Watch the fuck out. I'm telling you. Watch the fuck out YouTube because TikTok is coming for you, bro. You know, and a lot of people already jumping over to that platform as it is. Shout out to Clarissa Rankin because she wasn't, well, I don't know if she wasn't going nowhere on YouTube, but she said it herself that she don't mess with YouTube because of a lot of reasons. But boy, when she jumped on TikTok, man, she just blew the fuck up. She blew the fuck up. So I guarantee you, as soon as TikTok opens up to long form videos, YouTube, you better watch out because a lot of a, a lot of loyalists, you're going to you're going to learn today that nobody ain't loyal to shit, because if TikTok opens up, oh, we gone, we gone. 
You know what I'm saying? Fuck you. We gone. Over here, oh, over here, copywriting our shit. A two second, a two second clip, a two second music, and 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 we can't make no money. Forget y'all. We going over to TikTok. So I already opened up a uh, I got it. I got a TikTok. So definitely go over there and subscribe. TikTok lockout men. Make sure you take your peoples over there. Let them know that I'm over there. TikTok. Lockout men. I want to say it again. TikTok. Lockout men. Help a brother out. You know what I'm saying? I'm on TikTok now. I'm, I wasn't a fan, but I am now. And I, I guarantee you I'll be more of a fan when they when they open up the videos. Long form videos. I'm over there. TikTok. Woo! <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm, I'll, let me get back, okay. Um, but anyway, take it from me, y'all. Number one, take it from me. Number one, if you're going to promote the company that you work for, for whatever reason, make sure that that company pays you, all right? Make sure it's a good payment, too. Don't just have them to be like, oh, well, we're going to give you this amount, and it's a low ball amount. Tell the do like a media go go and Google how much uh radio sponsorships, uh magazines. Go and find out how much they actually charging for, you know, for whatever. Some of them, like magazines, I think it's like five hundred a pop. I think radio spots for like uh, like a 10 second spot is like five hundred or something like that. Make sure you get some value out of it, you know, because when you start talking, I guarantee you, when you start talking about the company and people going to be interested in you, then they're going to be interested in the company. And then they're going to want to come over to the company because the company is 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 starting off at 70 cent a mile and you get 3000 miles a week and all like that. You got people that's coming in, that's coming into the trucking industry every week. And they're, they're quick to type in the company that they're interested with. They come into Facebook. Hey, what, what company should we go with? Oh, well, you should come to my company. You should, you should do this company. You should type up this company. Make sure the company that you drive for, and if you have a YouTube, Facebook, or, or anything like that, make sure you, you, know, you tell them, like, hey, I'll, I'll promote you. Just need to be paid. That's all. And don't let them turn around and tell you, oh, well, we, you know, the referral bonus, you know, the referral bonus, you get about, you get about $2,000 per referral. Yeah, well, I'd rather, I'd rather have something else etched in stone because when the people come in on a referral, they got to stay in order for me to get paid. <laughs> so I, I want something substantial. That's number one. Number two, if you're if you're working for a company and you don't promote the company, don't say nothing about the company at all while you're working there. Period. Don't even mention the company's name. Don't even mention the people, the people's name that work there or nothing like that. Like if you guys ever notice that all the places that I ever worked for, I have yet to mention my fleet manager's name. I didn't mention, well, what? no, that's after I left the company. But while I was there, U.S. Express, it was my fleet manager. J&R Schwuger, Schwugel, it was my fleet manager. Wooster Motorways, it was my fleet manager. Uh, you know, so forth and so on. It was my fleet manager. I never mentioned my fleet manager's name until after I left the company. So you guys knew my issues with... Haley from US Express, my best fleet manager. Well, he no, not the best. No, he he was he was like number two. I'll tell you who's my best in a minute. Um uh Matt Holmes from JR Swoogle, but he left the company. So he went and left the company to Greater Pastures. He's he's my number two. Haley is all the way down, it's is all the way down in the in, in she yeah, she's nowhere on the map. 
All right. But my number two, fucking Matt Holmes. My number one, my ace boon coon is Joe Fasarski. Man. Now, you talking about somebody that treated you right, right out the gate, right up until the time, in, until the time Corona hit? Joe Fasarski from Wooster Motorways. You cannot go wrong with him as your dispatcher, man. You just, you just can't. You do right by him, he'll make sure that he'll do right by you. And I always say that if you have a, um, a repertoire with your fleet manager, then being with that company rocks. All right. I'm just saying, you know, you get that, you keep that good communications open. Let that, let, let the fleet manager know that you, you will rock out. And if you come and you know, if, if, if you come to, you know, to, to some issues, then take it up with your fleet manager and then work it out. Work it out. All right? So, yeah. So, again, like I said before, if you're not promoting the company, don't talk about the company. Don't show the logos in your videos. Don't say the name of the company or nothing. Now, a couple of people probably might see you out here in the streets and be like, yo, lockout. Is, is, they, 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 they know I'm in a black Mac. But they don't know which Mac I'm, I mean, they don't know which company I'm, I'm with because there's a lot of black Macs out here. You know what I'm saying? I love this Mac. I really do. This Mac, this Mac is fire. I kid you not. I mean, I had my issues with it. You know, I had to keep, you know, take it, put it in the shop a couple of times, but now I got to get it washed. So I will probably get it washed on my way back later this week. But, but shit, I like this Mac. So, yeah, but a lot of people know that I'm in the Mac, but they don't know the company because I don't say the company. I don't show the insignia. Like, if I'm outside, I try my best to blur the name. And that's what you should do. You should blur the name if, if, the, if, if the company logo should happen to pop up in your video. So make sure you, 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 you pre, you know, when you do post productions of your videos, and you don't want the name to pop up, make sure you blur it out. Don't mention the name. And don't talk ill about the company while you're driving for them. Because I guarantee you, somewhere buried in that, in that, in, in the company's policy is somewhere where you can't talk about the company while you're driving for them. All right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, that's about it. That's about it. Should I, I should I break this in half, make it 15 and 15, make it a part one and a part two in the same day, like bring out part one in the morning and part two in the evening? I don't know. I think I'm, I'm, I'm about to touch the 40 minute mark. So, yeah, I probably break this down because, again, I don't like uh, I don't like making I, I don't like uploading long form content anymore like. Unless I'm in an interview or something like that, you know, and I'm, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about that, too. Like if I'm not live, then that's different. But if I'm doing pre-recorded videos like this, then I'm able to slice it in half, upload the first half one day and then upload the second half the next day. Unless I'm in a live feed. So, again, YouTube, you better watch it. You better watch it. TikTok is coming. I guarantee you by next year we'll be able to upload long form videos on TikTok. I'm telling you. Uh I could have sworn. Is that it? Nope. Uh, where is it? Oh well, I can't find it. My back is scratching. All right, so if you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button. That all button is the almighty like button. We always looking for 100 likes to let YouTube know that we are up. 
You know what I'm saying? That, you know, just, just let them know because a lot of hard work, especially in the pre-recorded videos, there's not, <coughs> there's not that much work in, in live stream because all you got to do is just hit the button and just start talking. Yeah. Yap, 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 and yap, 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 yap. But for pre-recorded videos such as this, you know, I got to, after I finish recording, then I got to put it in my editing software. I got to, you know, I got to edit it down a little bit. I got to put my intro, my outro, and make sure that the sound is tweaked a little bit better. That's what we do. All right. Until next time, everybody, y'all take it easy. And I will come back with another commentary for you guys. Stay tuned. Peace. Ryan Little. <laughs>